Uh, this is Eric Hipperly Designs, and I'm just going to go through um, my folder and file framework for the documents that I will be working with to build my InDesign uh, manuscript format for my upcoming book, Ta uh, Confessions of a Talented and Gifted Dropout. So this is episode three in the series. And let us check out the structure here. OK. The first you can see we have a folder. This is uh, EHD. That means Eric Hepperly Designs. Everything that's something that I created or that is 90% my creation, uh, file or folder or whatever, will have EHD on the front. So that's the nomenclature. And then some people use underscores, some people use periods, some people use dashes as separators. I prefer underscores. So, and then the PRJ means project, and more specifically, personal uh, project to test my skills or just to do something, create something I need. And this is the date with the uh, the year first and the month and the day. And then it's the type of project is it's a book. And this is just a short description that will let me know what, what this is about if I happen to come across it later and don't remember what it is. Oh, tag dropout, that's my book. Uh, also, it gives me a minimal thing that I can search for in indexing search program okay so like void tools everything is my favorite to use so the tag drop out and wip means work in progress so that lets me know when i find this later on as a zip or whatever that oh this is the materials i used and this is progress that i made but this is not a completed version so when i make a completed version uh, I'll start attaching the word final to it. Okay, so that's the main folder. Let's go inside and see what's inside there. So junk is just a, a clip of the book cover I created. I believe I created it in Microsoft Word. Uh, what was it, 2018? Yeah, I created the book cover in 2018. And junk is just a, a section of that i grabbed to throw into a color analyzer program and and uh, develop a, a color palette from it because i don't have the newest version of adobe that does all that fancy stuff itself uh or okay so this is just a copy of the the email that i archived from balboa press with my original order information from 2016. uh okay do we have here let's look at it a long time ago these are actually some files i found the other day there's been different versions that i've tried to make with different uh programs as the uh, typesetting program i believe this was either done with uh google docs uh google sheets or open office so there's that yeah so this is a version you know, we've got the line and the chapter and uh, different things about the year I was born or the day I was born, etc. Okay. And here's how to make a dollar or the bakery banking scam or how to launder food stamps at the bakery. So these are stories from my childhood, and I just gave them names for a chapter. Here's a, a list of different things that I remember happening in my childhood that uh, I may want to write about and develop into a chapter or part of a chapter. And then this was a timeline. Let's see if we can open that up. We're right on our time. We're good. Okay, cancel. Should we cancel? Yeah, let's open it. Open a document. 
Okay, there we go. All right, I see what happened here. Hmm. I started with a another document and then tried to start converting it into this. So this is my timeline of events. So here's the event, um, and then you know I'll put okay number. This will be event number one, event number two, event number three. But it might be within that year, so it might be 1984-01, 1984-05. This number represents just a plain index number. It tells me how many rows there are. Uh, the year again. That's the year that the event happened. What grade I was in, roughly. Location, well, you know, self-explanatory. It says where this happened. Uh, details, yeah, there we go. And then notes. So that's what I have so far. We'll close out of there. And here's a couple different icons I, I found. All right, so current version, this is what I work on. This is the palette I made in uh, Coolors. Go back here real quick. You see, coolors.co. It's a really cool website where you can upload a photo and it'll take that photo and automatically make a color palette from it. And remember, that's what this junk was for so that I could devise this color palette. I like it. I think that's a pretty good palette. And uh, if I need to, I'll, I'll uh, edit it as we go. But here's. There's no intermits. Okay, let's see. That's a library. So here's the current version of our document. Let's see. Okay, we're getting there. And I'm actually going to pause it because InDesign takes a while to open. Okay, as you can see, as you can see, in InDesign, we've got the master pages that we set up last time, and we were following a cookbook tutorial. So we've got a line here that we don't know if we're going to use or not, but at least we've got our pages set up, and we've got it so that when we enter text, it's going to it's going to do what it needs to do. Okay, so we will close out of there. And let's see what else we have. Like I told you before, intermeds is my intermediate level stuff. This gives you a preview. That's a PDF uh, spread. So just kind of an example of what a spread looks like currently. And that's a work in progress, right? So EHD writings. These are writings that I wrote in the past. Uh, in like 1989 and stuff that have little illustrations with them that I may end up uh, integrating into the book. Not sure. Maybe. Probably in some way. Versions. So there, here's previous versions that I worked on. Here's another version that I did with a, uh, you know, kind of Caslon font going on there. Adobe Caslon. And let's see, I made a table of contents. Yeah, so this was following a, a sort of a novel approach. And it's got the folio stuff going on. Anyway, that was one version. And then here was another working draft. It was in a doc, docx before I ran out of uh, Microsoft Word. I don't have Word, Microsoft Word anymore. And this is one I was doing following a tutorial. And San, Sean Fushi had a, was a YouTube, tutor, uh, YouTube guy. And here's the URL, but this is the better part. Creating a book using Adobe InDesign CC 2014. So this is when I tried following his tutorial, and it worked pretty good, but it was all about assembling a book. It's a good tutorial. You should watch it. But uh, 
I think there's about three different methods of making a book that I've tried so far. And it's not that I've tried one and said, no, nah, that didn't work. Let me try another one. It's that I've just never finished any method. But the one that I'm working on currently is the cookbook method. And I call it that because it's based on the tutorial from uh, Nigel French on LinkedIn, LinkedIn Learning. So there's three different methods of making a book with InDesign that I have uh, come across. One is making a, is basically typesetting it where there's a, a master frame, a primary page frame or whatever, so that when you copy and paste the entire manuscript as text, it will automatically uh, create any new pages that you need. Another version, which is what the cookbook version is, another version is what I call like independent section version, because you don't make a master page frame. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can do a master page, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about master frame or primary frame. You don't do a primary frame, and it doesn't automatically uh, adjust for your text, but that's because this is for a book that's not primarily just text. This is for a book that's a picture book or a cookbook or something like that. I would say maybe even an encyclopedia book or a dictionary that has illustrations and a description or maybe even a textbook would be a good example, a good candidate for this type of, of way. And then the other way, the Sean Fushi way, is to make what in InDesign is called an IN, INDB, InDesign Book Document. And like I say, if you want to look into that more, you can go and check out Sean's tutorial. Um, but let's move on. So that's, that's, I'm just kind of working up from the bottom because I guess these are mostly the oldest. EHD graphics, those are graphics, pictures, and screenshots and stuff that I created. So here's a banner I created for, is that Twitter? Yeah, that's Twitter. It's very sparse, just basic. Uh, I just wanted to throw something up there and not get too fancy with it. And to be honest, that was before I knew too much about uh, using InDesign or Illustrator. I only used uh, Photoshop and didn't have access to those programs at the time. Okay. What else do we have then? Helpers. Helpers are other documents that I have created, um, like a book outline, right? Let's see if we can pop this up real quick. So here's a book outline apparently I created in November of 2018. That kind of like helps was to help me set up the front matter and the back matter and all that stuff and it may have even been based off of um what do you call it uh may have been based off of balboa press's uh documents that they sent me uh this is a screenshot i made of a video that i wanted to remember and that i may refer to which is about using fair use on youtube uh but it seems like it was also about mla mla format in some way and this right here, compiled from Keep Notes. Interesting. Ah, so at one point I was using Google Keep to make notes about what I might have in my book. So I believe, I believe that these are all uh, encompassed in some other document now isn't necessarily necessary, but I may be wrong, so I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, and then Balboa, these are all the documents that I got directly from Balboa Press that say what the requirements are, except for these uh, these two. Anything that says DH Web Doc, that means I went out to the website and saved it as a PDF myself. Otherwise, it's something that I got directly. Like this is a PDF that I got directly from Balboa Press. This is that should be a web doc. Uh, let's see. 
and then these this is a, a set of documents that i got directly from balboa press cover aid idea fair use guidelines image submission guidelines manuscript preparation see they give you how to do it in microsoft word and then here's the, the stuff about the matters front matter back matter market as a marketing guide so they gave me all these helper documents and we're going to call that good for today so that's a, just a quick walkthrough of my document setup and next time i think what we'll be doing is looking at um i guess maybe taking something and doing a live write or something i don't know we'll figure it out then well thank you for bearing with me and <laughs> coming to watch this uh, video i know it's not their best production quality or whatever and uh you know i'm just doing it off the cuff i'm not using the script at the moment but um like i said thank you for watching and like share and subscribe if you share this video then it'll get past the youtube algorithm and my channel will show up when people do searches currently because i don't have that many subscribers it doesn't show up um, so anything you can do to share, like, subscribe, I sure appreciate it. Well, thank you for joining Eric Hepperly Designs and have a beautiful day.